in previous class we uh, we have finished the uh, artemisinin artemisinin derivatives this is the plant artemisia annua next the mechanism action of artemisinin these compounds uh, have presence uh, of endoperoxide bridge this endoperoxide bridge interacts with hem in parasite hem iron cleaves this endoperoxide bridge there is a generation of highly reactive free radicals which damage parasite membrane by covalently binding to membrane proteins okay the mechanism of action is clear what is that that uh, the compounds have these compounds have presence of endoperoxide bridge and endoperoxide bridge interacts with hem in parasite endoperoxide bridge uh, what what does this bridge do that endoperoxide bridge interacts with hem in parasite the hem which is present in parasite endoperoxide bridge interacts with that and hem iron cleaves the endoperoxide bridge hem iron what it uh, what does it uh, do it does it cleaves the endoperoxide bridge <clears throat> there is a generation of highly reactive free radicals uh, after this reaction uh, highly reactive free radicals are there which damage the parasitic membrane parasite membrane the parasite membrane are damaged by the um, generation of uh, highly reactive free radicals which are generated by uh, when hem iron cleaves the endoperoxide bridge what is endoperoxide bridge endoperoxide bridge reacts with hem in parasite and uh, what uh, what the endoperoxide bridge uh, comes from uh, compound uh, this compound have presence that means artemisia um, artemisinin this compounds have this endoperoxide bridge this endoperoxide bridge <coughs> hem iron cleaves this endoperoxide bridge then generation of highly reactive free radicals are there which damage the parasite membrane by covalent bonding to the membrane proteins okay that's how the parasites are damaged by this artemisinin here the artemisinin endoperoxide bridge activation free hem bound free radicals or electroph electrophilic uh, intermediate presence of this electrophilic uh, intermediate the drug protein adduct that means the parasite membrane by covalent binding the parasite uh, the parasite membrane proteins are damaged mm, this is an uh, antimalarial action of artemisinin artesunate uh, this is this is water soluble ester by dihydro <coughs> dihydro artemisinin and dose can be given by orally intramuscularly intravenously orally 100 mg um, twice uh, twice a day um, the day day one uh, 50 mg uh, twice a day in day two um, to day five and uh, if parenterally it's uh, given uh, 120 mg on uh, day one and uh, 60 mg od uh, for seven days then artemether ma artemether is methyl ether of uh, dihydro artemisinin dose uh, it is given by orally or uh, intramuscularly and uh, the dose uh, prophylaxis is given here then artether ethyl ether of di dihydro artemisinin a therapeutically equivalent to quinine uh, and in uh, cerebral malaria longer t half and more lipophilic than artemether uh, favoring accumulation than in brain dose is uh, right down here uh, 3.2 mg per kg on day 1 followed by 1.6 mg per kg daily for next 4 days there is some adverse effect or adverse effects of artemisia and artemisinin like leukopenia and hypersensitivity to actions like uh, drug fever itching and git or gastrointestinal trouble like nausea vomiting abdominal pain yeah, these are uh, the common uh, side effects ecg changes uh, electrocardiography changes like uh, sgt 
uh, changes q tip prolongation is uh, is happening there and uh, abnormal bleeding and dark urine and uh, reticulocytopenia artemisinin uh, best combination therapy uh atomistin based combination therapy we will start uh, it in the next class